Hey there. Okay, in this video, you're going to learn how we deal with environment variables on our target servers. Um, this video is aimed at developers of our server matter uh, program, and this is how it starts. We have in the etc. in our you know this is on our control machine, our local machine. We have a directory called globals, which kind of mirrors the directories that we're going to build on the other one. And we, and we copy some of these in their entirety, like SM. All of this gets copied in one fell swoop. Uh, things like etc. we pick through and select the things we need. And one of those things is a, an environment uh, file. Now, all Linux servers have an environment file <coughs> right off the etc. directory, just like this. And we're going to supply, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to supply these servers with these variables. Now, uh, these variable values you can see uh, in the curly braces here. Uh, the double curly brace is an Ansible thing. It's an immediate indicator that this is a templated file. Um, and these variables are going to be populated um, just prior to them getting shipped over to the other server. So they all have values. These values are going to be pulled from, um, mainly pulled from, if we go into host vars, we see in this case cmcmatter.biz, it's one of our clients. Uh, you might have a lot of different domains here, each one maybe having variations on their variables. If we click on one of those, we see uh, Cloudflare keys and API tokens and MySQL passwords and things like that. Not all of these are going to be pulled into environment variables, um, but the ones that you see here uh, will be and there'll be others uh, that we create um, dynamically. And let me give you an idea of uh, some of those dynamic creations. One of those things is uh, network settings. So if we go into uh, playbooks and tasks and the networking folder, uh, well, I'm not gonna go into all of this, but what one of the things that networking does is it goes out and it gets the uh, the network interfaces like ETH0, ETH1, whatever they may be, um, and they may not be named that. They've got a lot of different names they could be. And also the gateway IP, uh, the default gateway, or any gateway IPs that are associated with those interfaces if, in fact, uh, they've got an IP associated with it and they are up and they are a uh, determined to be a gateway, they'll be cataloged and shared in the environment area where you can see right here SM interface 0 interface 1 and then the gateways associated with those interfaces so let's take a look at networking for a moment uh, right here in the JSON to VARS file is where it ends uh, it begins uh, you know I'll just give you a hint on this get gateways we run a script right here a bash script that has been crafted to specifically get all that gateway information off of the server and return it as a, a JSON uh, string. And then this file uh, decrypts that JSON string right here and supplies the SM interface 0, 1, and so on that you saw in the, the corresponding gateway IP. And uh, you see we, we initialize or instantiate uh, some of those variables. Our servers are never typically going to use two, internal and external, uh, and what's connected. The rest of them, they may have them, but at this point in time, we don't have a purpose for them. In the future, who knows? Maybe we will. So that's how that comes together, and uh, let's, let's have a look at this uh, in practice so you can see how it works. So we are going to uh, run the playbook, which is going to include this main YML file. And uh, I've got a lot of things commented out because we don't need to run them all right now. I just want to demonstrate this. Um, but, but one of the things we do need to run is the networking because it's going to pull in that interface info before it populates the uh, environment file and eventually our firewall. But we're not going to look at that right now either to uh, speed things up for you. Okay, so we've got two tabs here. One of these represents my development environment, which is the uh, Ansible control machine. And the other one is the server that we're targeting with these environment variables that we want to deposit there. Now, right now, you'll notice if I take a look at what's in that server, it's already got an environment uh, file. We're going to remove that. 
And now, so I guess I've got to be a pseudo user to begin with. Okay. <laughs> Fourth time's a charm. Okay, now if we look at what's inside environment, we've got an empty file. Um, because Ubuntu comes with environments, so we want to leave one there to start with. So now we're going to come over here to the uh, playbook and go ahead and run that with a little bash script I've created to run the playbook. And the goal when we're done is the environment file is populated with the variables that are pulled over from the uh, uh, host virus and the uh, network settings. Okay, so that's finished. Uh, no problems, no errors. Let's come on over here. And now when we look at what's in environment, we see that it has in fact been populated by all the things that we pulled in. So that's it. That's how environment variables uh, work. We're going to have other environment variables that aren't in this file but can be pulled in as needed from a central location. But uh, this is uh, how that aspect of environment variables comes together. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.